recent forum to explore improved cashless economy in Nigeria, the CEO of EFINA, Mrs. Chidi Malawansen, gave a keynote on moving beyond cash, how innovation in e-payments can reach on deserved markets. She identified the challenges of financial inclusion in Nigeria and also proffered solutions. There are challenges in utilizing these platforms for the individuals and for the merchants or the agents as they were. So we have to separate and find out why we here as the stakeholders, are we addressing the problem effectively? It's, from the survey, we found out that it wasn't about the usability of the cards. A significant number of, the, of Nigerians that were surveyed said they find it easy to use the cards. But what's driving them away from utilizing those cards are poor customer services. We should ensure that our staff are appropriately trained to deal with customer complaints. Because once individuals hit poor customer services, they will exclude themselves from utilizing any electronic payments. I know Nigerians will need to talk to somebody. Sometimes we don't want to talk to a machine as it were. So if that person cannot solve the problem that I have or give me bad attitude and bad service, I'll move my business as it were away from that particular platform. There are also security concerns. From our survey, we found out that individuals would say, how can they trust the platform? Um, we seem to be talking about the same thing or similar things. If you pay, will that service be provided to me? Do I want to utilize a platform that has direct access to my account? Sometimes the regular Nigerian on the street says, I believe that if there is that access to my account from some third party platforms that I utilize, it means that my account can be hacked. It might not be a tenable excuse, but that is what Nigerians struggle with. They say they have security concerns. And also, we found out that for those debit card utilizers, a lot of them happen to be males that were fully employed. And the, the, the significant information there was they were usually between the ages of 26 to 25 years old and residing in southwest or north central areas. That provides good information for the operators to say, where can I focus more to increase utilization and adoption? And on the other flip side, where are the potentials? People who are not utilizing them more, they are likely to be women. They have the cards. They have the phones, but they're not utilizing those platforms. Why are they not utilizing them? A lot of them just have the challenges that we stated above. And significant numbers are also self-employed. They are not in a full employment um, service. And significant numbers are the youths between ages of 18 and 25. They've come out from school. They are not quite in that space where they are working and earning disposable income. And then there are lower utilizations they have the cars, they are not using them as often as they should in the south-south and in the southeast zones. So we are providing information that the operators can use to increase the adoption of e-commerce and electronic payment um, platforms. She also spoke on the opportunities and prospects for the market in Nigeria. And as I round up, would say where are the potential customers here? There are many of them, 9% of them say they are prepared to learn about new technologies. And of course, from those that we surveyed, about 62% own a mobile phone, which they can utilize, they can buy those products off any e-commerce site, so they are huge potential users. But they have to adopt that utilization. At least 55% of them were females. The female populace, they find it a little bit slower to adopt electronic payment platforms. But once they, they key into it, you'll find a loyal database of utilizers because they'll hardly shift from what they are used to, from what they are comfortable with. So you have to drive them up to that portion where they get comfortable, then you've bought them over time. You know, we women, we can like a certain thing and we stick to it, this is what I know, I'm not shifting to that side. So but there is that uptake to ensure they reach that level where they are comfortable and utilizing those platforms. Mrs. Lawanson speaks further on the landscape of financial inclusion in Nigeria and how the entire value chain can be improved to better expand the services to the unbanked. 
Nigeria started tracking the way Nigerians use financial services since 2008 in our survey. So we've had 2008, FINA access to financial services, 2008, 2010, 2012, 2014. So we are right in the year of doing another survey. And what it does is to track how many Nigerians so far within the last survey have become financially included. And while we're tracking that, you're also aware that more Nigerians come up to age. We track from 18 years and above. While you're thinking that all these footprints, all of us in this industry, are making to pull people in to utilize more financial services, more of the younger generation are dropping into that 18 years and above stage. So, a lot of work will still need to be done by the regulators, by the operators, by those in the e-commerce platforms to create awareness, build pervasive agent networks, ensure that people understand the usability of their products, try to make it easy and not complicated, look for easy adoptions. We'll find out that the women population they have these cards, but they are the ones that hardly utilize them. They have to scale up their loyalty levels, buy them over, not with the word buy, but how do you ensure that they understand your product and use it? Because when they can use it, you have loyal populace utilizing your products. But when they don't understand the products or where the places where they can go and carry out that service is not existing, then we all fall back. And we're only dealing with a smaller percentage of banked individuals. With a massive surge in the adoption of mobile technology and internet penetration, Nigeria remains a viable market for improving financial services. It is expected that the issue of financial inclusion shall be taken seriously as all stakeholders would put their heads to see how the unbanked will be given valuable service.